एक्स पोटासियम हाइड्रोक्साइड भाषस एल्कोहोलिक पोटासियम हाइड्रोक्साइड दिस इज टू रेजलेशन लेटस सी व्हाट एक्चुअली वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न रिएक्शन ऑफ एल्काइल हलाइड with aqueous solution of potassium hydroxide and reaction of alkyl halide with alcoholic solution of potassium hydroxide this is we are going to learn today so let's begin first of all let us learn about aqueous solution of potassium hydroxide and alcoholic solution of potassium hydroxide aqueous solution of potassium hydroxide that means potassium hydroxide is dissolved in water aq means aqua aqua means water when potassium hydroxide is dissolved in water then potassium hydroxide ionizes to potassium ion and hydroxide ion again alcoholic solution of potassium hydroxide it means potassium hydroxide is dissolved in alcohol normally alcohol means ethanol when potassium hydroxide is dissolved in ethanol then this reaction occurs potassium hydroxide turns into potassium ion first then hydroxide ion and this hydrogen form water and the remaining part is this ethoxide ion so aqueous solution of potassium hydroxide forms hydroxide ion and alcoholic solution of potassium hydroxide forms ethoxide ion now let us see the basic difference between hydroxide ion and ethoxide ion this is hydroxide ion this is ethoxide ion here oxygen is bonded to hydrogen but in this case oxygen is bonded to alkyl group we know alkyl group is a kind of electron donating group that is why in ethoxide ion electron density over oxygen increases but here electron density over oxygen is comparatively less than ethoxide ion because of this ethoxide ion has great tendency to receive proton because of the higher electron density over oxygen that means simply it acts as a strong base according to bronsted lowry protonic concept so because of the presence of alkyl group ethoxide ion acts as a strong base but here hydroxide ion simply acts as nucleophile during reaction with alkyl halide ethoxide ion acts as strong base during reaction with alkyl halide but hydroxide ion acts as nucleophile during reaction with alkyl halide hydroxide ion causes nucleophilic substitution reaction when reacting with alkyl halide but ethoxide ion causes elimination reaction 
when reacting with alkyl halide now let us see reactions of alkyl halide with aqueous solution of potassium hydroxide and alcoholic solution of potassium hydroxide reaction of alkyl halide with aqueous solution of potassium hydroxide and alcoholic solution of potassium hydroxide here alkyl halide which is taken this is butyl chloride when butyl chloride is treated with aqueous solution of potassium hydroxide which forms hydroxide ion and the reaction is conducted by heating then in butyl chloride this carbon chlorine bond undergoes heterolytic fission because chlorine's electronegativity is 3.0 but carbon's electronegativity is 2.5 because of the difference in electronegativity this carbon chlorine bond undergoes heterolysis as a result chlorine becomes negative in charge carbon becomes positive in charge because of its positive charge this nucleophile hydroxide ion enters this molecule to attack this positively charged carbon that is simply here this chlorine leaves the molecule as nucleophile and hydroxide ion enters the molecule as nucleophile that is nucleophilic substitution occurs here as a result this compound is formed ch3 here h h ch2 ch2 OH that is alcohol is formed. This is butanol, a kind of alcohol that is simply when alkyl halide is treated with aqueous solution of potassium hydroxide, then nucleophilic substitution occurs. As a result, alcohol is formed here. Potassium chloride is formed as byproduct. That is to say, when alkyl halide is treated with aqueous solution of potassium hydroxide, then nucleophilic substitution occurs to form alcohol. Here, the key point is aqueous solution of potassium hydroxide forms hydroxide ion which acts as a nucleophile. Again, when alkyl halide is treated with alcoholic solution of potassium hydroxide, which forms ethoxide ion, which is a kind of strong base because of the presence of electron donating alkyl group, then this strong base ethoxide ion takes out hydrogen atom from this alkyl halide as proton. In this case, this hydrogen is more responsive towards ethoxide ion. That is here, this carbon hydrogen bond shifts here to vanish this positive charge to form carbon carbon double bond at the time this hydrogen gets freed as proton this proton combines with this strong base ethoxide ion which is a bronsted lowry protonic base now as a result this is formed
here by products are ethanol and potassium chloride that is here this hydrogen and this chlorine leaves the molecule as acl that is elimination reaction occurs here this acl turns into ethanol and potassium chloride that is when alkyl halide is treated with alcoholic solution of potassium hydroxide then elimination reaction occurs because alcoholic potassium hydroxide produces strong base ethoxide ion because of the strong base ethoxide ion alkyl halide undergoes elimination reaction but the questions may arise that are why ethoxide ion doesn't act as a nucleophile why ethoxide ion doesn't act as a nucleophile number 2 why ethoxide ion doesn't takes out this nearer hydrogen or this farthest hydrogen nearer or farthest hardest hydrogen atom this questions may arise when alkyl halide is treated with alcoholic solution of potassium hydroxide now let us clarify these questions alkyl halide ch3 ch2 ch2 again ch2 and here chlorine when this is treated with alcoholic solution of potassium hydroxide that forms ethoxide ion as a strong base but the question is why doesn't it act as nucleophile to occur nucleophilic substitution reaction because this is a kind of bulkier group as this is a kind of bulkier species bulkier entity that is why here replacement becomes tough for this reason ethoxide ion doesn't undergo nucleophilic substitution reaction number 2 why this nearer hydrogen is not taken by ethoxide ion suppose ethoxide ion takes this hydrogen then let us see what is formed ch2 ch2 here hydrogen if ethoxide ion brings out this hydrogen as proton then this carbon carries one pair of electrons because of the lone pair of electrons this is not stable that is why ethoxide ion doesn't bring out this near a hydrogen as proton again why ethoxide ion doesn't take out this hydrogen as proton this is third question when this carbon becomes positive in charge then this carbon hydrogen bonding electrons immediately vanish this positive charge as a result this hydrogen gets freed as proton 
that combines with ethoxide ion. But if we consider this carbon, that is first, second, third hydrogen's carbon, then this carbon hydrogen bond is less responsive to vanish this positive charge. That is why this hydrogen cannot get freed as proton. Let us summarize the answer of the questions. That is, ethoxide ion is a kind of bulkier group, bulkier entity. That is why it doesn't undergo nucleophilic substitution reaction. It experiences steric effect. Number two, near a hydrogen atom, in this case, lone pair electrons develop in this molecule. Because of this, molecule becomes not stable. Molecule becomes unstable. So, near a hydrogen cannot get free as proton. Number three, about the farthest hydrogen atom. In this case, carbon-hydrogen carbon hydrogen bonding electrons experiences less attraction. That is why only this carbon's hydrogen gets freed as proton to form alkene through elimination reaction. This is all about aqueous solution of potassium hydroxide versus alcoholic solution of potassium hydroxide. No more today. Thank you very much.